Hello guys, welcome to my video. In this video, you will learn about how to enable jQuery, Bootstrap and Font Awesome for the SharePoint framework. These are the steps which I will follow to enable the Bootstrap, jQuery and Font Awesome for the SharePoint framework. First, I will create this uh, SPFX with no framework enabled and install the packages which would be enabled for the jQuery bootstrap and font awesome and there are several additional steps which you sh which you need to add to the gulp file.js to make sure that font awesome is loading properly into your website and finally I would add some sample code to show everything works as planned and this is how it looks like finally when the spfx web part is created as you can see it would i would add a sample uh, bootstrap 4 card and add some body html tag to show various controls within the bootstrap controls and finally the font awesome and the right side of the icon animated icon which would you can see finally at the product let's get started So as usual, I'm firing up the PowerShell using my same command to create a SPFX. This is a familiar command you would know, solution name, web part name with no framework. So everything in a single param parameter which I follow in. I run the command, run an update, I said no, and finally I execute the command. This would as, of course create the SPFX framework with the default options enabled okay so the command has successfully completed so after completing this command i'm going to open that in visual studio code to show the core so if you see here this is the source which i have executed and the template project template has successfully created and you can see the template so every time when I run this command, there is one small issue with this. Just remove this. Yeah. Save the changes. Okay. So after you have created uh, the project, you need to run certain MVM packages for the bootstrap and jQuery. So let me show what are the commands I would be running in. So if you see, these are the steps you should follow. First, you need to install the jQuery and the jQuery types, Bootstrap 4, I'm using the Bootstrap 4, and the Bootstrap types, and finally the font awesome. So for font awesome, this is the uh, npm install free version. You can follow this uh, same code. Let me go back to Visual Studio. Yes. And let me run the command one by one. So first command I want to run is npm install jQuery save. npm install jQuery save, yes. So first command I would install the jQuery. So once the jQuery is completed, I would install the jQuery types. jQuery has completed. Now I need to install npm i jQuery types. This is for Dave, just for the development purpose. So I would use the parameter hyphen Dave. This would install the jQuery Dave. jQuery dev is completed, which is the types. And next one I need to install is the bootstrap. Bootstrap, I'm going to install version four. So anything above than that, it will start to run. So it will install the bootstrap version four. Bootstrap has completed. Now, I need to install 
the bootstrap types npm hi types slash bootstrap at four hyphen hyphen save hyphen day this will install the bootstrap types bootstrap type has completed so now time to install font awesome at font awesome has a weird url which is fort awesome at fort awesome it is not font awesome you should note it down and you should follow font awesome hyphen free and hyphen hyphen save that's it note down the url properly so it uses that option now it will install the font awesome let me wait for the font awesome to complete uh, it is installing 5.13 version and once it finishes the install of font awesome we're going to add some configuration into the config.json file for external so now all the packages has been installed let me go back to config.js and I need to add externals to make sure that these are the external dependencies for this project. So basically for jQuery as well as Bootstrap, I need to add these changes. Let me add these changes for jQuery and Bootstrap. So these are the changes you should add it into your jQuery and Bootstrap uh, dependencies into your project jQuery, the modules plus the jQuery uh, min.js and also for the bootstrap and this bootstrap it has a global name which is bootstrap and it depends on the jQuery. So you'll have to specify the global dependency to be of a jQuery. So that's how I specified it. Save it into the config file. So now the externals are ready for jQuery as well as bootstrap. The next step you should follow is to add some of the changes inside the main web part. So now we have added the external dependencies. It's time to import those dependency into our project. So for jQuery, I use dollar from jQuery. Yes. And for bootstrap, I would say bootstrap correct from bootstrap yes that's how we have given okay so this is to uh, import the reference to the jquery js and the bootstrap js so after that you'll have to specify your css which comes with the bootstrap and also the css which comes with the font awesome how do you do that you can use the require keyword let me bring it down here you can use this uh, you can specify the module node module by default now the node module have been added you can use this required to import your font awesome and the jquery so now most of the steps are already been done and let let us try running this and see what happens okay let me do gulp serve hyphen hyphen no browser. Usually I use only gulp serve no browser option. This would try to compile and finally it should display something a package, a pack. So now it tries to un un unpack or do the assembling of yes. So if you could see here, font awesome would fail. So when you try running just by installing font awesome and adding a reference, it would fail. You will have this error. Why? Because the web pack cannot understand WFF2. It could not parse some of the characters which in the font awesome. So for that, what you need to do, the additional step is that, let me stop this. The additional step you should do is 
you need to install an additional package which is a url loader so once you install the url loader you need to add some build script into the gulp file.js so the next package i would install is npm i url hyphen loader hyphen hyphen say hyphen day okay so this url loader is the prerequisite for adding the build script later you will see the build script which i am going to add in the gulp file.js while running i'll open the gulp file.js and you need to specify the url loader build script within this gulp file let me copy the script usual script which i try to run and copy it into the gulp file.js okay it has completed installing the url loader so now you copy paste this or later i would share the full source code you can copy paste basically you will have to specify uh, certain parameters to be added and then loaded into loaded as a part of your webpack so this webpack will add the merge configuration all the configuration which are there in the font awesome and it will add it into your build process so now if i start to run gulp serve sorry gulp serve hyphen hyphen no browser hopefully it should compile now or build successfully now and able to open it in my browser i'm having it ready here let me refresh later so once this is completed let me refresh this okay so now if you see there is no error while build process so i can now start to add the web part if you see refresh it it would start to mm, my web part is somewhat something like wp so this is the one okay so this is the web part which i am trying to add one minute there are two three web parts which are there let me refresh this Okay. WP. WP jQuery SFX. So there are several web parts which is. Let me open it right now. Okay. So if you see here, this is my web part. I've added my custom icon to this sample, so I can see this web part. Okay. This is the default load, and. it is loading now you can see the request coming in so this is the default web part and there is no issues now so what we do now is uh, change this html to show some of the bootstrap controls plus the bootstrap uh, options let me maximize this leave it there and okay so fontasm everything has been loaded let me change this html into my sample html let me remove this html and i have my sample html copied before i'm copying the html from my source just in case Where is that HTML? It's here. Okay, so this is a sample HTML I'm going to use. This is a simple HTML file with some options of. So basically, I'm trying to use the Bootstrap four, which has a container and it has a card with a card header saying that it's a jQuery sample, and it has a font awesome uh, code as well. And inside the body, I'm adding all the controls. bootstrap controls and finally in the footer i am just specifying just follow my twitter okay and if you see the html file i am adding one dynamic control which is the dynamic div which has an id text here and that it's a span control what i am going to do is with the jquery i am just going to insert some text here so 
let me add a jquery text inside after this maybe i will have to use So this is the typical jquery uh, code which you start to write. So for now if I run the gulp serve no browser it should change this html because I have completely changed the html sample. So this html should now get all the bootstrap and other things. Let me see. Let's wait for it to build to complete. Like manifest. Okay. Okay. So now this is how I created the HTML. And this HTML has the font awesome, which is working again now. And the bootstrap controls, it's again working now. So everything works as expected. And this is the Twitter icon I added using the font awesome. And there is a animated icon also showing there here. So now what I'm going to add some text after this alt F4, which is a dynamic text using the jQuery to make sure that jQuery is also working. So what I do is I'll just use jQuery code, which is what is the text here, text here. And the text I would add is okay, that's it. It will rebuild. So once it rebuilds, it should hopefully add a text after this Alt F4 with an italic text format. Okay, so now this comes from the jQuery code. You can see here, I'm finding the ID and just insert uh, code here, that's it. So this is how uh, you start working with the jQuery bootstrap and the font awesome. So everything works fine here. It's just the simple steps of adding some of the configurations and it works great for me and hopefully uh, it would work for you as well. Uh, thanks for this video and the whole source code would be uh, in the github please see the description below the video to follow the github url and you can get the full source code from there thank you so much bye